Just because you find a daily beauty routine that works for you doesn't mean that it's good for you. Mm -hmm. In fact, some of your beauty habits might be doing you more harm than good. So today we're going to help you break them. This is Beauty Bus. Graphic. Okay, everyone, you're in for a real treat today because Tamara, Adrian, and Jeannie were brave enough to let us peek into their daily beauty routines to see if we could spot what they may be doing wrong. <laughs> Tamara, let's start with you, sweetie. Okay. You're going to show us how you expertly apply your makeup. Take a look. Okay, you guys, you know how much I absolutely love to dress up my eyes. My favorite is putting on eyeliner and then obviously mascara. And I'm always wearing lashes. That is like the key. Then finally, the best part ever is curling my lashes like so bam uh bam bam <laughs> yo tam your makeup always looks super fly Thank it really you. does you well <laughs> You're such a pro, Tam. <laughs> you are such a pro. Oh you my know God, what, Tam? Yes. I can hardly look at you. Why? What's wrong? The order that you applied your makeup is a big no-no, Tam. Why? Applying liner before curling your lashes is one of a big waste of time. You uh, know this because uh, liner just comes off the curler. I can't believe I just saw you put on mascara before the curler. Uh, I can't Tamara believe it. Tamara Murray Housley, what? you could lose your lashes. Shame. Our eyelashes are delicate enough, and if they're they're still wet from mascara, they can stick and even break off while Jeez. using the curler. So remember, curl first, apply makeup second. Well, thank you, Lonnie. Now I know. Oh, that will never happen again. <laughs> Adrian, okay, we all know how serious you are about your glam Very routine. Serious. So I'm sure you got yours right. I hope so. Check it out. What's up, you guys? Okay, I am about to do my go-to hairstyle. I'm obsessed with it. You guys always see me wearing it. It is the top knot. I literally just pull my baby hairs down, and I will pull my hair up into a top knot. I'm the weirdo that instead of doing one scrunchie, I use two so that it's super tight. Just saying, this also is like low key, a little facelift. You'd be like this, and then it's like, oh no, girl. And then, boom. And it always looks chic and cute, and then just grab some bobby pins and secure it, voila. Are you joking? I stand by what? that. I stand Wait, by it. Are Wait, no. you uh, joking? You know what? I really thought you'd know better, eh? I oh mean, this God. was low-key kind of disappointing. Oh, what did no. I do? Jeannie, what did I do Wait, wrong? Okay, Adrian, you look amazing in high ponytails <laughs> and Thank top you. Hats, but these tight hairstyles, girl, they can lead to extreme breakage Jokes. and hair thinning. Oh. If you wear them too often, which you do, the constant bro. tension <laughs> and pulling can damage your hair, babe. The follicles can get really yeah, hurt. My follicles. And, yes. <laughs> Adrian, it can even lead to a condition called traction alopecia, OMG. which oh, causes, yeah. causes things like thinning hairlines and receding temples. Wow. Oh, baby, oh, baby, we holding on to our edges over here. <laughs> yes. So if you insist on a tight updo, you gotta use a soft scrunchie instead of an elastic band and give yourself a nice head massage once you take your hair down to promote do blood flow to the scalp and restore any damage. Adrian, promise me you'll be gentler on your hair from now on. Okay, okay, I seriously promise, I will. Okay. I will be gentler.